This video is sponsored by Zenpop. Zenpop is a subscription box based in Osaka, Japan. They offer four kinds of packs, sweets, ramen and sweets mix, ramen and stationery. Each pack has a new theme every month so you can experience something new and unique each time. I have chosen to review their ramen pack because I love trying out ramen. Like everything else in Japan, there's always new ones to try and I'm always surprised by the variety of flavors that exist. I love that it also comes with an information sheet that explains the ramen, what kind of broth or topping they have, and if there's any interesting facts about them. To be honest, I don't think I would have known this much if I just bought them to try myself, so I found all this background information quite interesting. Zenpop offers free shipping to 49 countries including the United States. They have different subscription plans to choose from and it's okay to cancel anytime. You can get $3 off any Zenpop pack when you use my code and link in the description box. Thanks again to Zenpop and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys! So today is the 17th of November and my shop update is in three days. I pretty much have everything ready. I've taken all the product photos, I've set up all my listings and I scheduled them and I've packed most of my happy mail that I can pack. What I have left to pack are the patrons who have pre-ordered from the shop and I can't really pack a lot of them right now because I'm waiting for one more sticker to come in so everyone who's ordered that sticker I can't pack those yet so today I'm gonna pack all the orders that I can right now but yeah I'm not very stressed about it this time I feel quite organized which is rare and nice also Masa has work outside for the next three days so I have the whole table space which is really nice so yeah let's get packing
gonna try an instant noodle that I got from Zenpop for lunch. Um, I think I'm gonna try this one because it says here that the noodles are created with this special vacuum method so they're meant to be extra chewy and it's supposed to taste like a bowl of freshly made ramen and the cooking time is five minutes which is actually quite long for this type of ramen i think The noodles definitely taste different. It is more chewy. I like it.
So I just finished journaling. Um, I haven't journaled since end of August so it's been almost three months but luckily this year I decided to do monthly spread so I really only had two spreads to do like September and October and I haven't done November spread yet because the month hasn't ended yet and I feel like right now this is manageable for me like of course if I have more time I would like to journal more but I always try to keep in mind that done is better than perfect and if I aim for something that I can't achieve it's actually just gonna turn me off journaling so I'd rather do something that I know that I can keep up with so I feel like this is working out for me and while I was journaling my last sticker design arrived it's the lazy design. So I can actually pack more orders now because a lot of the orders that I couldn't pack, um, it was because of this sticker. But first I think I'm gonna take a photo of the sticker to put it up on my shop listing. And then I think I'm gonna take photos of my journal to put on Patreon. And after that, I'm gonna pack. I feel like this vlog is turning into another packing vlog. And it wasn't meant to be, it was just meant to be like a normal studio vlog. But yeah, it's just what's going on with me these days, it's just packing. Short 
shorter on the sides. I want it to be a little longer. Well, but you have slowly gone away. I mean, I don't know when it was, but it's one of those things that, like, you watch old episodes where we see ourselves in, like, montages. And I'm like, so well, she had continued to, to be around. She would have said, now, when you grow your hair out, you still need me to cut your hair as you grow. Because to happen. Because I just, all my hair was, like, you, you, you think that, like, do you think that there will be the come a longer in the next months or years? Or do you terminal link? Do I go to terminal link? I mean, that could be years away. I don't know. station had noticed Yosef's restlessness, but waiting anxiously for a train to arrive was most Japanese claimed they could distinguish between a Japanese and a Korean, but every Korean knew that was rubbish. You could ape it. The boy had spent his childhood in his sick room. His abundant meals were sent to his room on a lacquered jujube tray. Yet he remained as slender as a chopstick, though every grain of rice would have been when the tray was returned to the kitchen. Naturally, the servant had never gone without a sizable portion of his kyanki had made him promise to resume. follow your father around. Maybe you were five or six. I don't think you can remember me. Sanja shook her head. My shop update is live, and we're going to have donuts. It's Pokemon Donuts, there's Pikachu and uh, Pokeball. Yeah. Okay, where should we start? Probably ear part. Yeah. <laughs> Does it have stuffing? Yeah. Okay. Like custard cream. Hmm. I didn't get the inside. Hmm. I didn't get the cream. Oh, it's here. Okay. That's good. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> good. Hmm. Goodbye. Ah. Actually, it's good. Mm. Didn't expect this to be this good. <laughs> really? Mm. Ooh, so, so much cream. I think it's the same feeling. I don't know. Mm. Good? Good. What different feeling? Mm. Strawberry. Mm. But I think I like the Pikachu one better. Really? Mm. I think I like the ball better. Really? Mm. That's strange. <laughs> so this is everything that I packed last night. 
I'm still working my way through the Patreon pre-orders, but I ran out of custom forms, so I can't really do much more right now. We're going to the post office later this afternoon, so then I can pack more tonight. But um, for now, I think we might just quickly go out for lunch. And thank you so much, you guys, for all the support. I know I just keep saying this, but I'm really, really grateful and... Thank you. Chicken, tomato, egg. Fireflies farm. Gonna try some instant noodle from Zen Pop. I've already tried this before, it's really good. Afuri is an actual ramen shop, and their ramen is like my favorite type of ramen, which is Yusu Shio ramen. And if you come to Japan, I recommend that you try them. They have a few branches around Tokyo, but yeah, this is the instant noodle version. And today we're gonna try this one, which is black. Tonkotsu. Tonkotsu is pork bone broth. And we're gonna try this one. Garlic shoyu mase soba. It's dry noodle. And this is four minutes. Okay, it's been four minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. And so with this one, you open this bit and then you drain the water out in the sink and then we'll mix it with the sauce. So I'm gonna go drain the water. It smells like ginger. Not sure. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. Looks good. Looks good, this one. Mm. Tonkotsu. I think this is hot. <laughs> I'm gonna try the other one first. but I think it's not. I think it smells ginger already. Okay. <laughs> the soy sauce has apples, onion and ginger. Mm. Mm, it's good. The blackness comes from spicy burnt garlic oil. Mm. And it's supposed to be very rich and thick mm -hmm. and also garlicky. Mm. It's a ramen shop in Kyushu. Mm, real ramen shop? Yeah. Oh, it's Michelin star. Mm. 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 Good. Mm. Really nice and big. Really nice and big. Mm.